This section's awfully stubby. Info from last night needs to be added charged by Neon to retrieve the last copy of a painting by Bruegel the Elder. River traveled to London during the Yeti attack. Discovering that the painting had already been stolen, she was forced to search for the thieves along with Captain Ben Knight, whose survival she tried to ensure so that history would not change. In the end, however, she was forced to let the painting burn in order to save the life of the little girl who had taken it, Aaron Harris, from the intelligence. She then brought Aaron herself to Neon, offering her as the new tour guide for her collection. Audio, The Web of Time Upon learning that a Hanovari woman was attempting to kidnap Princess Myrola of Oskozania, River infiltrated the Galactic Heritage Rendezvous by posing as a delegate from Gallifrey, Ramana. His deception attracted the attention of the interested party, who sent Leela to investigate. River involved the savage in her attempt to rescue the princess. The two succeeded, but discovered the Hanovari was also trying to save the princess, who was to be sacrificed to keep the peace on Oskozania. The three of them then traveled to the planet and discovered that the princess was actually a girl of the people who had been kidnapped and forced to participate in saving the life of her twin sister. Their actions led to the downfall of the Royal Magnificat's regime and a new civil war, but River and Leela were able to take the twins away into the future of the planet, guaranteeing them a happy life. Audio. Emancipation. With the activity of her manipulator disturbed, River traveled to Victorian London to discover the source of the disturbance. Her investigation led her to Henry Gordon Jago's Palace Theatre, in whose cellar she found traces of Magnus Greel's 51st century time technology. After witnessing the kidnapping and murder of a dancer, River stayed at the theatre, hiring herself out as a singer, and even performing as one, long enough to ruin the plan of Greel and his servant, Li Ichizen Chung, to take control of Jago to supply nourishment. He left a moment before the TARDIS arrived. Audio, The Talents of Greel, the Wampirics captured River and took away her time-traveling technology, which they used to try and drain the Earth of its energy at three different points in time, creating a paradox. Their queen even assumed River's appearance to lead the operation. Escaping their clutches, River traveled to Earth and, after attempting to warn her once, rescued Petronella Osgood in 1971. The two fell through a time fissure and ended up in 2091, where Osgood was contacted by her boss, Kate Stewart, from 2019. River and Osgood worked together to destroy the Wampirix's Earth Ray in 2091, thus contributing to the operation by which unit repelled that species' attempted incursion on Earth. Having resolved the paradox, River asked Kate if they were going to lock her up somewhere, but she chose to let her go instead. Audio, The Power of River Song River was captured by Balthazar Drix and brought to the SS Pollyanna, where she was kept in a cage and entrusted to two robot animals, K9 and FE Line. For safekeeping. On Drix's instruction, K9 tried to convince River she had been involved in another fight between the Doctor and the Master, and was kept here to heal from a biological weapon she was in touch with. River, however, saw through the lies and convinced F.E. Line to help her get out and find out the truth. Drix had come in possession of the K9 Mark III the fourth Doctor was sending to Sarah Jane, reprogrammed it and copied it to keep his crew prisoner. River even discovered that the mind inside F.E. Line belonged to Drix's assistant, Maria. River then forced Drix to release Maria from her F.E. Line body, discovered a cure for his condition she did share with her but not with him, then healed K-9 and sent him to Earth. She then left, leaving Drix in the same situation he put her, a pet in a cage. Audio, A Forever Home. 